Hey everyone, it's Green Lord here, and today we're playing some more Mother 3. Last time, we started up Chapter 3, where we're playing as the Monkey Salsa here, and um, we finished up the episode by seeing our um, sort, of, sort of owner leave the room in the middle of the night. So, this time, we're going to follow him. Alright, something's happening. You've arrived at Oso, You've arrived at Oso Castle. Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. Smoothly. Smoothly. Ah, I can't talk. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle. That's it. You only saw him. Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. Uh, have you know that I am not a drunk? Yes, I know it's Johan. So it's not technically me. But Johan is not a drunk. He walks with a limp. I I have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, a slightly bad breath. Looks to him like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. Oh, that nasty son of a... He's the one who stole the money! Oh, dear. <sighs> of course we get shocked. Ah. Did you think... You could run away from me? That's why... Such a stupid monkey! Right, yes. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep! God, this guy is not so. Don't bother me anymore. What for that look? Laugh! Nope. I'm not laughing to this guy. Do as I say! Off. Well, it's not going to make any difference, actually. So fine. But you know, you were going to run away. I'm sure there were some more intelligent ways you could have done it. By trying to disguise yourself, or trying to walk without making any sound. But I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> Man, he's mean. I really don't like this guy. I know I'm supposed to hate him, but I mean, man, this is just really, this is absolutely ridiculous. He's so evil. Honestly. I mean, seriously. He has kidnapped a monkey's girlfriend, and it's constantly shocking that poor monkey. Monkey. I mean, honestly. It's utterly ridiculously evil. I mean, come on. Why are we seeing this flashback? I know his girlfriend's been kidnapped. I mean, seriously. And here he is shocking us again. Oh no, oh no. Ugh, of course. And shocked awake. Oh. And very pleasant. How long are you going to sleep, stupid monkey? Listen. Just keep doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny till jump. Do a good job. I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, we'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Right, okay. So we will actually have to do well this time. And I don't want to talk to people because I don't want to, like, do the facade voice. It's, I, don't, I don't know why I picked this voice for, for facade. Really, it's not very nice to do. So it seems we're putting on a show in the middle of town. Indeed we are. Come, gather round. Come one and all, fair denizens of Tasmili. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. 
Indeed. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. <laughs> Lies are just news. Yeah, screw you, facade. Oh, he just—he just does this in front of people. Also, yeah, I'm, I wasn't trying to get uh, get shocked. I just uh, didn't—I just missed what he was doing. Blue sky, white clouds, battle crops, stacked livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. Yeah, we have that. This village is filled with so many wondrous things, but there's still something missing. Tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living a much more comfortable, enjoyable in our lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Ah, people just leave. Screw you, facade. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forests. A giant balloon like object saw our skies. That's because of you guys! What's going on? Oh, you know that. Don't play dumb, you ass. What's happening to the world we live in? And I'm just that. I just have to dance while this is going on. And that's not all. Not by a long shot. Word on the wind is that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily. Right, yeah, okay, I believe that. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, Get real! Something like that would never happen. I truly believe this will soon be a reality. Yeah, if it is, it's because of you pig masks. Bloody arseholes. In times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? Yeah, sure, but I mean... I have, new I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. Okay. Oh. Backflips. You obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. You are my cute and adorable saucer. He's dancing so happily. I'm not happy, facade. You're putting on a facade, your of your own. Puns, I've got them. The reason for this, you see. That this monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. Uh, no, I haven't. About my girlfriend kidnapped. I wouldn't exactly say that gives you happiness. How exactly did the little salty here manage to find happiness? Oh yeah, by uh, having you guys kidnapped my girlfriend. Yes, yeah, exactly. All those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? Okay. I don't like this. Okay, little saucer. Go and ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. Nothing uh, bad about having too much happiness, is there? Maybe. I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. Okay, and Abbott. My name's Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Uh, and Biff, I think. Yeah, Biff. I'm Biff. I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. That's everyone. So, I guess we talk to Fizzard. Everyone! Even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. I somehow doubt that. I mean, I'm pretty happy right now, but I mean, there's still a lot of terrible stuff in the world. Those of you who can raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know any time. Well, that's all for today's show. Sorry, that was my phone. May happiness come to this village. Oh, back here. Take care. Damn it, Facade, I don't want to do all these stupid tricks. Now then. Come along, little saucer. Let us return to the Yaddo. I guess. Yeah.
Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle? Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough? All right. Yeah, I'll be right over once I'm through here. Tell them, make sure you find it. Yeah, so he's, he was the one coordinating the search for the egg of light. All right, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the, in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Biff, Isaac. Those four people. Where they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. When you're, when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. Look we'll straight back to this room. Yes. You can't do it in under 23 minutes or so. The punishment will be even more severe. It'll be much more than charred. That happens. If you try to run from, from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it. Yes. What the? I said yes. Now get to it already. Oh, I really hate this guy. Finish delivering them in under 22 minutes. It was 23 minutes just like a second ago. I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart. <laughs> I don't think there's any kindness in your heart, sir. Because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Sure, buddy. Be grateful. <laughs> I'm... So, we want to hurry to the cemetery. I really like the theme that we have one. It's, it's nice. I mean, there are better themes, but it's really good. It, it, it's good. It's good. So I'm assuming it's hidden over by the uh, new type of... Yeah, there you are. Wait, Mapson. We need something from the map-loving man. Uh, from the map-loving, map-owning Mapson. It must be a map. Yes. Oh, you're a monkey, but you have a map. For some reason, I'm just itching to mark it. Let me see that for a second. Now, it's marked. So, we need to take this to Isaac. And now, he lives in the forest. Yeah, so as you can tell, getting a happy box is not really much cause for celebration. So we need to go to Isaac's house in the forest. Or at least that's where I'm going to start. So, here we go. So yeah, this is the reason Facade gives us a humongous time limit uh, as 22 minutes, because it really slows you down quite a lot, and um, you can't run while you're carrying the happy blockers, of course. So, um, you're very, very slow with these, which is slightly annoying, because it means I can probably get less entertaining stuff for you guys. And of course, there's also monsters in the forest. I really don't know! Greedy Mouse. Yeah, I'm going to run. Couldn't run. Get the food he was carrying. Keep trying to run. Then we got away. Dodge that, dodge that one. Dodge the mouse. There's Isaac's house. Oh, is this it? What is it? Does it really bring me happiness? Give the happy box to Isaac. Okay, three more to go. Yeah. So yeah, a happy box is basically like a little pink TV, as you can see. Anyway, this is not the time to be doing this. We need to go and get the rest delivered. Now, thankfully, we don't have to go into the forest anymore. Uh, you know, I can. I think I can kill a praying mantis or something. I'm going to run as a sign. So yeah. These basically only exist be uh, to threaten Salsa, because, um, I mean, of course, the uh, the actual human protagonists, they are way too powerful to actually have a problem when they're dealing with a praying mantis. So, basically, they're only there to make life difficult for Salsa when you're delivering the box of Isaac. Yeah, we need to get this next one. Got a happy box. Yay. 
Yay, happy boxes. Lovely. Alright. So, uh, Ab and Abby. I don't know if they're getting two boxes. I mean, they are married, so perhaps they just need one. Uh, let's see. I mean, I guess not. But, um, so, two is the same house. Uh, I think they live here? I'm not really sure. Nope, they don't. Is that bateau? The alien one. There they are. There we are. Oh wow, so this is a happy box. <laughs> this is great. A happy box. Thanks, monkey. Yeah, now we need to go get one for uh, Abby. Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott. I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. Only one more to go. Excellent. So I don't actually remember where Biff lives, so he's over there. Right, yes. So we need to get the last one, and then we, uh, we're almost done. We just need to live one more. So keep running. Now I would go and uh, see if I could check out Oso Castle, but of course um, we need to live these. So. Happy box! Yay! Oh, happy boxes. They make me so joyous. Yay! I mean, really, Facade and the Big Marks, they're just disgusting. I mean, honestly. I mean, of course, there's all the stuff with um, kidnapping a monkey's girlfriend to blackmail the monkey into working for you, which is bad enough there on its own. Then you also shock the monkey constantly, uh, enough that he turns black for a second, and then you also, well, force him to carry heavy as hell stuff like this. Where the, where, where's Biff Lip? Well, that's down here. And I need to go further south. Okay, I see. Fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a farm here, it seems. That must be where Butch and the pigs were. Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. So, now he has his happy box. That's all of them. Which means now we need to hurry back to Facade. Now, as I'm sure you guys can see uh, from the length of the video, this has not taken me 22 minutes, so we should be okay. Middle room. Here we go. Talk to Facade. And he's just eating bananas. I'm ninja. 25 minutes. What? No, I, I did not take 25 minutes. I absolutely did not. We, I, and I know that for a fact, because I, I have been recording for 18 minutes. That did not take me 25 minutes. Nope, too bad. I was planning to give you a special banana if you had delivered them all in under three minutes. You gave me 22! Oh my god, I really hate this guy! He's so bloody mean! But I guess you don't really want one. You insolent little monkey. No <laughs> Ah! This is painful to watch. Hey you! How long are you going to stay unconscious? Stupid monkey! He's going to shock him again, isn't he? Oh, okay. never mind. Alright, now tarry to Oso Castle. Oh, so we actually do get to go to Oso Castle. Fine, fine, let's go. Damn it, lady, you blocked my path. Cancelling my sprint. Very mean, you know. I really hope we don't have to fight anything. At least, well, Salsa is pathetic when it comes to fighting. As you all know by now. Hopefully. Yeah, let's go. Oso Castle. With the draw bridge you down. Because of your hand. Let's try talking to the Neverline. Don't know who you are, but you would best be careful if you're going inside the castle. Some guys dressed like pigs went, went me in, and I have to no good. Right, okay, I see. And those must be the pig mask of the clay man that we uh, defeated in chapter 2. What's going on? Did you find it? Uh, what? You still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders? 
The old man and the guy with a gloomy feel about him. Wait. I mean him? The guy with brown hair, gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. So where are they now? That's a good question. I mean, I know, of course. And you guys know. What? They're headed for the top floor. You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get there first. <laughs> ah, pick one of the idiots. Uh, yes, we, we're going for the top floor too. It seems. Uh, this is, yeah, this is fun. And there are the broken suits of armor. Types, it's nice not to have to fight them. That's the ladder. That we made with wall staples. And of course, we can't actually go there. Bah! I did it! Right, monkey, let's look elsewhere. Alright, let's try going here. Maybe new boxes. Uh, yeah, the one with um, that one. That one's still there. Everyone, I'm just trying to go down, okay? Um. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Yeah. What? They fled into the basement. They haven't watched them? Alright, got it. Hey, monkey. We're heading into the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside this castle. Find it. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a map. Okay, we do. We do. Good. So, we want to find the basement. So I can't remember where it is because I think I briefly went down there when uh, we were exploring this as um, Sheik uh, Bandana as uh, Johan, but um, I don't really remember where it is, so we're going to have to look around for it. Uh, let's see. No. Ah, here we go. This is the basement. The Barrel Man. Exactly. I don't want to fight Barrel Men, so we run away successfully. There's another one. Uh, okay, so we get attacked by something. We get attacked by a big bro. Fine, we'll find it. Run for beta, but it didn't work because he's fully healed. The facade attacks. Freeze beta. Didn't work. Don't know why that is. Start bum rushes him, there he's staying. 15 experience, and we also get a nut cookie. Excellent, excellent. This is another dancing door, it seems. Like the one uh, on the top floor. Alright, we go through here. But how? Hey! Stupid monkey! Do something to it! Don't be an eyesore! Ah! Um, we're finally examining the. these. and not dancers depicted here. Learn the Osu dance part C. Uh, learn the Osu dance part B. And part A. There we go. Huh? Okay, he's not actually shocking us. Ah, okay, so we've learned the dance. Yeah. Da 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 da. Yeah! We opened a... Not that that's good, because Facade now gets access. Oh, well done. Alright, here's your reward. You utter shit! You utter, utter shit! No <laughs> I hate this guy so much! Come on, let's get going. Why did I pick this voice of Facade? A ghostly frog. Well, let's save them and get downstairs to the basement. Pisces bracelet. Okay, that's new actually. Uh, that must be better than the aquarium one. 
it is indeed. Excellent. I should have gone down here ages ago. No! Oh dear, we've back we've been backpacked. A cheery skeleton. He throws a bone. That really hurts. Let's try to run away. The saucer cannot fight for to save his bloody life. So we grab his present. Beef jerky. Excellent. Oh dear. This is a little big a little big bro. Run away. Luckily it seems saucer is very fast, which is very lucky. No! Facade, you utter shit! Okay, let's run away again. I apologize if it's not very exciting, but we really can't take take these people on, so these things on. Oh my god, stop attacking us! I don't want to fight! I really can't kill you anything. Okay, we couldn't run for once. Bum rush. Oh dear. Ran away successfully. Grab the present. Beef jerky. Run! Damn it! Fine. Uh, run away again. Ran away successfully. Uh, okay, there's a present there. I think I will go... Go for it. Uh, run away. Couldn't run. Oh dear. It's skipping. Okay. All the things to do. Ancient banana. Can't carry any more stuff though. So, but I mean, if it's ancient, I am sure we will be okay. Okay, fine. We'll actually fight this thing then. Hey, I haven't got a combo in. Kicks us. Bizarre attacks. Uh, we attack. Kick. Thumb rush from Bizarre. I need to heal. Uh, let's try an ancient, but not. Oh, that's an that's an attacking right now. Beef check for us. Although I'm not sure. A monkey would actually eat beef jerky. Let's just let the healer tick up before he kicks us. And there we go. Uh, so, let's attack. Kicks us. Dark, please attack him. Bum rush, and he's dead. So, 85. Uh, experience and beef jerky. Excellent. Excellent. So, we go over here. That's the waterway, so let's try pulling this lever. Rather have facade do it. Huh? What's this lever for? Hey! Pull this lever! Yes. Uh what? Oh I see, that's what causes the uh the um training that uh, causes them to wash away. Uh wah! It's them! They fled into the waterway! I see. Well, normally I wouldn't be very happy and say, Where were you, morons? But, um... Now we're playing as... Right now we're playing as bad guys. So it's quite all right. What? They escaped with the item. Uh, yeah. After them! After them! After them! After them! Go after them! No, wait. They're inside. Corner them, is what I said. Contact me with the, uh, the instant you find them. Right, of course. Bah! Not a single useful person here. Oh, so I guess that means you're useless too. Excellent. Let's return to the Yatto Inn for now. Oh, very well. So, we just need to go now. So, we just go back where we came from. But, um, this feels like a nice spot to quit, uh, stop the episode, so I'm just going to save. And, um, yeah, next time on Mother 3, we are going to be going back to the Addo Inn, and then we'll see what happens then. And, um, so I would just say, like to say that if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, and, um, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.